Welcome to Week in Review. Uh, we're here to uh, give you an update on what's been happening uh, behind the scenes here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Uh, let's start off of uh, talking about uh, the live programs uh, that you see. Uh, what's going on, Gannam, Friday nights? Well, Marlon, every Friday night, uh, just want to remind our viewers, we have a live worship. Uh, it starts at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and uh, LLBM produces another live program uh, on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So we have two live shows. Uh, yeah, you're welcome to join us. Put it on your calendar and be blessed with us through the worship program and through Christian Connections, where it's full of uh, uh, discussions, music, and, of course, we always have Message of the Day by guest minister. And then on Sabbath, we also have two live services produced by our neighbor, University Church, uh, church service, and school, uh, and uh, uh, the Sabbath school. Mm -hmm. So uh, so four live programs comes through LLBN every week. Mark your calendar, uh, invite a friend to tune in Friday night, Tuesday night, or Sabbath hours, and bless them along with you. More on programming um, coming up later in this broadcast. Uh, but right now, let's uh, talk to Daryl about social media. Uh, we have a pretty strong uh, presence in social media, wouldn't you say? Uh, yes, we do. And we were talking about the uh, live programs that we uh, offer outside of uh, satellite, broadcast, um, Roku, and related uh, IPTV services. Uh, you can also watch our live shows on Facebook and YouTube on Facebook. Just look up uh, LLBN TV on, uh, on YouTube. You can just go to YouTube and look up LLBN Christian TV and watch our live services there. They're aired live on those platforms. Um, also, of course, you can go to our website and watch any of our channels anytime, 24 hours a day. And, of course, for your uh, mobile devices, you can go to, if you have an Apple, go to the uh, Apple iTunes store or to Android store if you have an Android. Download the LLBN app. All you have to do is search LLBN, download the app, and you'll have all of our channels 24-7 right there. Well, that's, that's great news. And uh, by the way, uh, as long as you're at the website uh, and you need program information, uh, well, tell us about the schedule and the, and the new uh, lineup that uh, you're working on. Oh, yes. Uh, well, for uh, our channel, uh, LLBN His Light, if you haven't noticed, there is a big change in the program schedule. You can go to LLBN.tv, download the new schedule, um, and... Every Sabbath, whether you have kids or you're a kid at heart, from 6 a.m. until noon, every Sabbath is all kids programming, kids shows. Uh, stories from the New Testament, Bible stories, uh, classic hero stories. Uh, it's a great lineup for families. And by the way, it, we, it was just converted to high definition. Correct? Yes, it was. So that's so, where the great quality comes from. Yes, yeah, a much higher quality yeah. now on, on uh, that network. Well, again, that means that uh, any new programming we do uh, will really look pretty good on, on LLBN. Uh, program, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about uh, a new program that uh, is coming down the line. Uh, tell us about what you know about Jeff Harper. He's a pastor. I think Daryl can tell us more about that. Okay. If that's well, all right. Sure. Well, uh, Jeff Harper, he's a pastor. You've probably seen him on Christian Connections a couple of times. If you haven't, we are developing a new series with him. In fact, some of the programs have been shot already. It's called Revelation of Peace. And this is a Bible prophecy show, 16-part Bible prophecy show that you will not want to miss. As a matter of fact, the crew during the taping were absolutely glued to his sermons, uh, which shows how effective it was. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for this new series. Mm. Time now for a building update, and Ganem has the details on that. Ganem? Well, Marlon and, and beloved friends out there, so we have the fire sprinkler system is in the queue 
by the vendor, uh, and we're waiting his permit approval from the city, as well as the Stucco folks. Uh, the Stucco vendors have also put us in their queue, and we're just waiting as soon as they get caught up with their other clients to transition to our facility. So I'm really excited about that. But there's something uh, 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 beautiful about this building. It's not so much the walls as when you stand there, you start realizing the power God is giving us into that building, the power that God is handing us to expand our broadcast into the world. When I stand there and I look around the walls and the space and all the design went into it to accommodate our technologies, I am really at awe, not only what God has done through the help of friends and folks like you to help us build it up through your gifts, but also watching how God steered us in this direction. And one can not ignore standing there to see what the future is going to bring for the work of God out of those uh, walls, out of these buildings and these uh, facilities. Very exciting, very humbling. It's very holy moments every time I stand there and realize what God has uh, 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 opened the way for us for this ministry. So thank you for your support. And hopefully you stay with us on this project till, till completion. Well, that also opens up another opportunity. Uh, the, the building is actually uh, quite an expensive venture, although uh, you and the team have worked to uh, keep uh, it as uh, reasonably affordable as possible. Uh, but uh, the new building is not the only source of uh, expenditure. Uh, right now, we're sitting in a studio. And it's uh, nice lighting, lots of them. See, like 25 lights there in the steep ceiling, and you know, three or four cameras that are operating. And uh, wait till you see the control room or even the equipment racks. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, they drink a lot of juice, uh, electrical mm -hmm. juice, so the air conditioning. You know, you are the ones that are making the difference to keep our lights on. Isn't that true, Daryl? Yes, that's right. There is uh, no other source of funding than we, that we have. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, when they see us in Loma Linda, and there are so many recognized Loma Linda institutions, people make the assumption that our gifts, our operation money, comes from these local entities. But in fact, we are pretty much on our own with you, our viewers, because... 100%, near 100% of our funding comes from television viewers like you who watch LLBN and love serving the work of God through this ministry and have kept us on the air for, what, 25 years now. Mm -hmm. It's a great miracle, folks. Uh, when you think about it, uh, when you look 25 years back and you realize how we stayed on the air and, and how the fact all our funding come from our viewers is just uh, uh, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. In fact, uh, giving is a privilege. Mm -hmm. And I think you have a verse that relates that. Actually, I do. And, 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 and I don't ask anyone to give if I didn't give myself. So I am, as a worker for LLBN, but also I am a donor as well. And that's how much I believe in this ministry. Uh, and the verse Daryl was asking me about, it's from Proverbs 18, 16. A gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great. You hear that? I mean, it's a, a gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great, which is God. Uh, you know, it's interesting that God did not impose taxation on, on, on believers to support the work of the church and ministries, but rather he wanted those gifts given willingly. So folks who gives will do it out of their love and relationship with God to support his work and would experience the blessings that God pours back on his people. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, if it was a mandate taxation, then you got to do it. And it's not willingly, but it's mandatory. But uh, God gave us the option to do, and, and that's the beauty about uh, Christian institutions. Keep growing by the help of big hearts 
and big believers who love to serve God's work and to help build institutions, whether for the homeless or the, uh, or the abused spouses or ministries like LLBN. So um, we are just absolutely uh, uh, astonished by the generosity of you folks who helped this ministry. And again, all our gifts come strictly, strictly from viewers like you. Ways you can help us with your gifts. Trust is one of the biggest gifts that you can do. Uh, we have a number of folks who uh, put us in their trusts and wills, and uh, that's going to help to sustain us for longevity. Mm. Uh, but then the cash gifts, what helps us pay our bills. Marlon was referring to cost of electricity. Do you know just this studio in? It's a couple thousand dollars a month for operation. Equipment runs 24-7. They have to be replaced very frequently. Mm -hmm. But think of the power of us working together to share his glory into the world. It's such a phenomenal gift and a miracle by itself that he empowered us, the workers and the donors, to help his work to be spread into the world as he commissioned us in the Great Commission. So uh, uh, the other way you can, of course, uh, help us, which you do, and we appreciate, is also the dedication of prayers. Uh, when the Lord said, uh, if two or more gathered in my name, I'll be among you, and your prayers collectively uh, helps a lot, LLBN keeps going. Well, I was uh, talking to one of my friends, uh, a good old-time friend, the other day, and we were talking about the ministry and you know the, the support. And um, he lives locally in the city of Highland. And, you know, everybody assumes that uh, we're supported by the big institutions all around us. And uh, not really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, make that affirmative. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, because we carry so many church services on both of our channels mm -hmm. and so many other ministry programs, folks are blessing these churches and blessing these programs, but not realizing we've got the major bill to pay the expenses, and none of that money that's given mm -hmm. to our program providers that comes to us. So it is it blessings on the ministries, but uh, we are a worldwide ministry, and your funding is very mm -hmm. essential for the survival of LLBN. So my friend told me that uh, they were watching one day, and... Uh, I don't know if the Holy Spirit or the Lord just touched their hearts. And uh, they just realized that they're watching LLBN, taking it for granted that it will always be here, that it was, you know, the money is just pouring in from heaven and all the other big institutions in town. Right. Just not, not the case. And they were so grateful that they could... Donate, donate to this ministry because it is mission building. You know, it is winning souls for Christ. That's why you do it. That's why you do it. That's why I do it. Uh, and our love for Jesus as well. Let's uh, end up with a, a letter uh, from Leslie uh, in uh, Maryland. And, uh, Leslie writes, I've been watching LLBN for a few months now and enjoying your programs very much. Uh, I've enclosed a check to help with your building project. Please keep up the good work and may God bless you all. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's our message. May God bless you all on this fabulous day. I think it's time now to uh, go back to the church service. That's what do you say. Yep. Thanks for watching this edition of Weekend Review. See you next time. <laughs>